This Mass is offered for all the victims of COVID-19 offered by Legion of Mary at, 20, at Thanksgiving on the 28th wedding anniversary of uh, Baskerin and Lourdes Mary offered by Shiny and Shaila family and uh, for the soul of uh, Coaches Gonzalez offered by Saviour Gonzalez. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, waiting and hastening the coming of, a, of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be set on fire and dissolved and the heavenly bodies will melt as they burn. But according to his promise, we are waiting for new heaven and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you are waiting for these, the delight to be found by him without spot or blemish and at peace, and count the patience of our Lord and salvation. You therefore, beloved, knowing this beforehand, take care that you are not carried away with the error of lawless people and lose your own stability, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. To him be glory, both now and to the day of our eternity. Amen. The word of the Lord. Be our response. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the one generation to generation. Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. Before the mountains were born, or the earth or the world were brought forth. You are God from age to age. Response. O Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. You turn men back to dust and say, Return, O children of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday come and gone, or like a watch in the night. Response. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to generation. Seventy years is the span of our days, or eighty if we are strong. And most of these are toil and pain. They pass swiftly and we are gone. Response. O Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. At dawn, fill us with your merciful love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Let your deed be seen in your servants and your glorious power by their children. Response, O Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. May 
the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope to which he has called us. Hallelujah! 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Chapter 12, verses 13 to 17. At that time, they sent to Jesus some of the Pharisees and some of the Herodians to trap him in his talk. And they came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are true and do not care about anyone's opinion, for you are not swayed by appearances but to truly teach the way of God. Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Should we pay them or should we not? But knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why put me to the test? Bring me a denarius and let me look at it. And they brought one. And he said to them, Whose likeness and inscription is this? They said to him, Caesar's. Jesus said to them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they marveled at him. The Gospel of the Lord. Are you Lord God of all creation? To your goodness, we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. If you become our spiritual God of life, the ministry of what you are in line will come to share in the divinity of Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the wine, work of human hands. So become a spirit shelter. Blessed be God for you. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with us. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the promise of each other. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is true due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ your Son. Through him the angels, we praise your, uh, angels praise your majesty. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, 
you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, at his command, we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. For fire, cross, and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin, Mother of God, with your apostles, glorious martyrs, St. Joseph, St. Peter and St. Paul, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing health. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Pope Francis, Peter, our Archbishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, Coches, Gonzalez, and all who are pleasing to you, at their, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, so we have the courage to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, 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 heaven,
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sit here, apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. May this mingling of the body and love of the Lord Jesus Christ bring it in life to us or receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, with love and mercy, eat your body and drink your blood. Let it not be condemnation, but a health in mind and body. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter and abide but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, who is coming into this world. John 11, 27. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, the Mass is ended.